Hello guys, this is Wow Ha Ha, and this is my video tour of the Vista Ridge, now Music City Mall in Louisville, Texas. So a little bit of history on this mall. This mall opened in 1989, and it had a Sears and a Dillard's. In 1990, a JCPenney was added. They refurbished some of the parts of the mall, and then a Foley's was added in 1991, and that's how the mall was. It had about 150 stores and four anchor stores. However, I'd say things kind of like got difficult for the mall because in 1997, Grapevine Mills, which is a huge outlet mall nearby, opened in Grapevine only a few miles away. Then after that, um, in 2000, Stonebriar Center, which is a huge mall in Frisco, opened a couple of miles away as well. So this mall was um, plagued with competition from other malls. I'd say things started to go downhill in the mid-2000s because some stores started closing, like Eddie Bauer and the Disney Store. But then, in I'd say the 2010s is when things started to really go down. A lot of um, chain stores like American Eagle, Express, Air Apostle, and Justice started closing in the mid-2010s. I'd say about by 2017, the mall it was probably 30% vacant. And around this time, the mall was sold to these new owners, and they renamed the mall Music City Mall and added, like, this pl piano, and they added a jungle gym in one of the f court areas, and they they added a few things to the mall. Also, a lot of um, local businesses started moving into the mall because a lot of chains were moving out. I think that the worst thing that happened at the mall was when in 2018 in May it was announced that Sears would be closing as part of a plan to close 72 stores nationwide and the liquidation sale completed in September 2018. But this vacancy was filled in um, 2019 when Xeon Market, which is a Korean marketplace, um, it uh, took over the vacant Sears. Despite all anchor tenants being filled, um, the mall still lost stores. And in May 2019, it was announced that Dillard's would transition into a clearance center, and it closed off its upper level, and as you can see, that's Dillard's there. And um, that probably helped the mall, I guess, but it might not have. I don't know. It The Dillard's clearance center seemed pretty busy when we were there. So the mall still continued to lose stores, and then the COVID pandemic hit, and that was probably bad for the mall. And then in June, it was announced that JCPenney would be closing as part of a plan to close 154 stores nationwide. This is because JCPenney had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So evidently, JCPenney has about eight days left to liquidate their store which means it's closing on October 19th. And here I filmed the JCPenney closing sale, so here it is. So yes, JCPenney has about eight more days left until it closes, which is pretty sad. And we also saw that two stores that were major chains, Victoria's Secret and New York and & Company, had recently closed. Well, anyway, I'm going to let y'all enjoy some music and the rest of the video.
So I'm going to chime back in here and um, say that even though the mall was 60% occupied, which is over half, um, it still was eerily quiet. And there were barely any people there except for in Dillard's Clearance Center, JCPenney's, and um, the center court area. The only noises I could hear were like people talking and then there was um, noises of like the escalators or like the elevator and someone was probably scooting a chair in the food court. That's pretty much the only noises I could hear. Since since I wanted to support this mall, I decided I was going to buy a shirt from Dillard's Clearance Center. So I did that. And um, here I am exiting Macy's um, and leaving the mall.